Hello, I'm Krista Ross. And I'm Billy Z. We're both in Malawi right now, and we want to update you on the progress we have made on the Chitofo 3-in-1, this modular integrated platform for climate-friendly parboiling, frying and smoking of fish that we have been developing. You see the units um, on the right-hand side, a double unit of a stove with a smoking cupboard on top and a drying cupboard. This is our agenda and we recommend that you look at the slides from ETHOS 2020 as our basis for this update. The fish processing sector uses a lot of wood, 63,000 metric tons of wood per year. Um, but it is very important for the livelihood of the fish processors and it provides nutrition for over 60% of the Malawians. The challenges are on the technology side because nobody has looked into frying or parboiling of fish and even the smoking kilns that are so-called improved are not really adopted and this leads to a lot of fish loss and aggravates um, overfishing problematic. Well, what's new in 2020? We have a name for the new technology. It's called the Chitofu 3-in-1. It's got the name because it can do three things, the most prevalent processing methods, parboiling, frying and smoking of fish in one device. We built seven units of that in March 2020. And while I was stuck in Germany, I tried to develop the smoking application. I built a prototype, put it on the back of a trailer, hooked it on the car. And you see Christoph, whom some of you might know, um, trying to feed the fire into the Chitofu and we were successful in smoking some stuff and then we tried to emulate the same thing once I was back in Malawi in October and it's now becoming the most sought after feature of the Chitofo 3-in-1 because it's also used for other things like meat and other foods. Now while Krista was stuck in Germany for seven months I tried to keep the momentum going by going on site visits, uh, collecting feedback, by on observation in person and engaging with the users. Well, we had some challenges to get performance data because one of the units uh, that we built in 2019 got destroyed in a family land dispute. Things happen. And we also had a challenge getting direct comparison data with the baseline because some people really refused to go back to their open fires once they had tried the G2 for 3 in 1. We were assisted at the research station with the officer and the young entrepreneur. And they also said that uh, the most important feature is that it's not hot for the operator because the heat is contained inside and it's very, very fast. That's what they most liked. Here you see the big basins with water that they use for parboiling. They put the fish in like little bamboo baskets. It's done out on the beach. It's windy. It, it takes a long time and a lot of firewood to heat these basins up. Whereas with the Chitofu, we have the fire contained. We have a larger basket and it is a lot faster. We haven't got real comparison data apart from this one sample here. We think we can get a lot better in saving firewood once we have got better procedures in place. The biggest advantage with frying is that the baseline method uses a small ladder to scoop out the fish slowly, while as with uh, Chitofu 3-in-1, all the fish goes into one big basket that dips into the oil and comes out in less than three minutes. Well. The advantage is as well that then the oil stays cleaner longer and they can save a lot of oil, maybe 50 US dollars per 800 kgs of fish. On the smoking, we have found out that smoking is an art and we're still experimenting. We are not yet there to really do full comparison on the performance data on fuel use because we haven't really had comparable situations yet. Um, we will get to that um, hopefully in this year and we have added also other methods in there like brining of the fish and we have done some uh, tests on the shelf life together with the research station that has been going now for more than uh, three months and the fish is still good. They also didn't detect any polyaromatic hydrocarbons which is very good uh, news 
and the smoking is really um, very sought after because people like it and it's a lot more efficient and we also can make real smoke whereas the other kilns can't really make smoke on demand because we have got a better way of controlling the air. Here you can see some of the samples of what we have managed to achieve with the T243 in one because you can also use that smoking cupboard to bake pizza and we've also made uh, smoked ham and smoked biltong apart from the fish. Sand drying is a big challenge in the rainy season. On a rainy day, they cover their fish with plastic. And that plastic just cooks the fish underneath and most of it, all must, just rots. So we were looking for a way to increase the airflow. And we came up with these cupboards that are then vertically extended. And we need very little uh, metal to seal them off on the top and they are covered with mesh on the sides and we put the fish on trays that we use also in the smoking cupboards and we just stick the fish in there and let it dry with the air. That works pretty well. And we have come up with another solution that adds into the whole chain and we found that the baskets that they use in the chitofu can also be used to wash the fish. Then the fish goes on the tray, drips off there and then it goes into the drying cupboard. We have a contract uh, with GIZ to build 11 units to get feedback and data on performance and to also develop standardized operating procedures to cut time wasters uh, while the fire is on. With the research we also want to look into other aspects that are important for the users like the convenience and also with consumers, the acceptance of new products and the willingness to pay. Um, we also are cooperating with another project that looks into the nutritional values of the processed fish products. In general, we want to look at the entire value chain of fish when it comes off, out of the water, off the boat, and then from beach to fork to further reduce the post-harvest fish losses and leave more fish in the lake. We also want to look into other things like, for example, introducing new vessels to replace the quarter drums and fine-tune the drying cupboards and, and, and we have lots of ideas. We will... Thanks go to the Embassy of Iceland for kickstarting the whole development of the Chitofu 3-in-1, then energizing development for piloting the Chitofu and the other program on aquaculture value chains to support us with the research and uh, sponsoring the students and of course all the other ethos experts friends and colleagues out there that have helped uh, us to get where we are and i hope there's more to come thank you very much thank you for your attention please contact us for further information or offers of corporate